So here's a sample execution of the program that I'm building today. It basically pulls a random word from the dictionary and then gets its definition. So let's try for another word. Utopianism. Oh, this dictionary actually defines it as impossibly idealistic. And then here's another word. That one is a good place to end the intro on. So this program can be split into two different objectives. The first one is to get a random word from the dictionary, and the second one is going to be to define this word. So to do the first part, I'm actually going to pull the dictionary from a file that I have that comes on all Unix systems. Um, this is the path to that file, and it has a list of dictionary words within it. So as you can see, it's, it's an extensive list. But there are some words in here that are actually naming uh, people and places, so I'm going to filter those out in my program. So here's how I open that file. I use the open function and then I read it and split it every time it reaches a new line because the words are delineated by new lines in that file. And I'm saving everything into a list called words. So now I'm going to define a function called get word. And what's happening in here is I'm going to filter the words that are people in places and stuff like that and I'm going to also get a random index and then pull that dictionary word. So I'm going to have a boolean called valid word and I'm going to have a while loop that keeps going until a valid word is found. To get a random word I'm going to import the random library and then my index is going to be found using the random randint function and to get that ending index I'm going to prints out the length of the words list. And that's how long it is. This actually the voiceover and I noticed a mistake which is kind of making me cringe and that is that I should have done a minus one after the ending index of that range because the rand int function is actually inclusive of both zero and the end index which means that if that end index was randomly generated and the program tried to access the words list at that index it would cause an error because the last index is actually that minus one. So so I should have just put a minus one after that number. Anyway, so now I'm pulling a random word by going into the word list at that index. And the way I'm going to filter these words is quite simple. I'm just going to look at the first character, and if it's uppercase, then it's something more encyclopedic, like a language or a place or a name, and I'm going to ignore it. And then also there are some words that are very short, like I think the second word in that file was AA, so I'm going to get rid of words that are two characters or less. So here are some of the words I'm getting. As you can see though, there were some words with capital letters in there and that's because I mistook the lower function for the is lower function and this, the distinction there is that the one that I currently wrote is actually just converting the first character to lowercase, but what I want to do is use the is lower function, which is a boolean. So now you can see that the words are all lowercase. So that completes this function. And now the next part is going to be to define it, which is going to consist of using Pi Dictionary Library. You have to install this. So if you don't have it already, you, you want to use pip install Pi Dictionary in the command line. So after that, the basic usage for that dictionary is as follows. We want to import the dictionary and then set an dictionary variable equal to the pi dictionary. So now what we're going to do here is get the definition of a randomly generated word. I'm also going to be doing another while loop here because it's possible that this word doesn't have a definition in this pi dictionary, so I'm going to skip words that don't have definitions. And I made a mistake here with the indentation. And then I forgot to call the function before executing.
So the issue here is that I wrote definition instead of meaning, which the documentation uses. Now, as you can see, incombustible came up, but a bunch of errors also came up um, stating that the list index is out of range. I believe that's happening because there is no definition being found for that word. Um, otherwise, it would have entered the if statement and would have printed out the word. So what I'm going to do is just hide those errors using what I found on Stack Overflow, which is a disable errors flag. We get the definition successfully. What I want to do is fix that up and make it look a little nicer in the output. I'm going to save all the definitions into a list called defs because sometimes words can have a definition that includes more than one part of speech. And then I'm going to iterate that from the key and the value, so the part of speech and then the definition. And I'm going to print the key with a semicolon and then the definition after it, which is the value. I'm just going to shave off the first two characters and the last two characters of the definition. But that didn't work to remove all of the quotations. So now I'm just going to try and strip the brackets and the quotations. but that didn't take care of all of them. So I'm gonna append replace um, to get rid of the other quotations and see if that works, and it did. So that's my cleaned up version of the definition. Here, here's the pure vocabulary word with its accompanying definition, but just because Pi Dictionary includes a way to access the synonyms and antonyms, I'm just gonna go ahead and include that as well. I'm going to save the synonyms in a list called sins, and if that list is populated after this function is called, then I'm going to iterate it and print out each synonym. I'm going to make a string for the synonym so that I can separate them by commas and have them all in one line. And then I'm going to do the same thing for antonyms. And I'm just going to iterate them and separate them with a comma. That'll accumulate into a print statement. Synonyms plus s, antonyms, plus a. And there's an error which states local variable a used before initialization. So that just means because I have the a and the s inside this if statement, the a and the s should be outside of that if statement. If there are no antonyms or synonyms, and it'll just list the fact, as you can see, for this word. So one more thing about the formatting. There's a comma at the end of the synonyms and antonyms list, which I don't want to keep. To change that, I'm just going to strip off the last two characters, because the last two characters are a semicolon and a space. So there it is. Defines waffle. Yeah, so that's everything. There are just a few more words. Pretty simple, but pretty cool.